sunshine, hot chocolate, sand, parked by the beach, food in my belly, all this, and all the time I got in my day today, and I still haven't even put anything, my, look at that, so gross. It's like, it feels like straw from all the gel and stuff from yesterday. But anyway, I wanted to introduce you guys to the newest addition to my van. Ladies and gentlemen, meet my garage. I got garage space. I got my seat back so when I'm sitting by the ocean, <laughs> yeah, I get to kick my feet out and enjoy this couch. Hi. <laughs> Damn, cute girls. Sorry if I get sidetracked by pretty little things and anyway. So not only do I got extra storage in the back, it looks unfreaking believable. Come on, man, everything matches front, back, and just looks looks like I'm living in something I found on Instagram, and that just feels good. It feels good that I can sit this thing oceanside, and it just looks attractive. It looks like a, it's picture perfect. It, it's just like living the dream right now. But uh, let me show you some cool things about the garage I built that I thought was pretty genius of me. In the back of my van, I had this 20 pound propane tank. The thing is like, they're big. And I needed a place to store it. And I was kind of working around it. It was an awkward piece. Then when I was measuring out these cabinets, these are the same cabinets I have in the front of the van. When I was measuring them out, I've discovered something pretty cool. I ready to get your mind blown? It's gonna be like, <clears throat> check this out. I'll bring you guys in nice and close for this one because this is rad. And this bar just pops out. Ladies and gentlemen, my propane tank storage. <laughs> Cool thing is, this just comes in, comes out, super easy. Yeah. What I did is when I was putting the drawers together, I just, <laughs> I didn't quite put them all together and these little pieces fit perfectly. And this was like the support beams and I just popped them back in there. I got another one for down here too, but... I thought that was pretty freaking genius. And it's nice because everything just looks super sleek, nice, neat, and tidy. Ah, so awesome. I ended up removing two of the storage bins I had underneath my bed, which were just miscellaneous stuff. One was mountain bike gear and stuff, which I obviously don't need anymore. So I got rid of that one. And the other storage bin, which was just miscellaneous junk, is now in my storage locker, leaving me room to slide my little DJ case underneath there. And it's pretty sweet because it doesn't get in my way. Ah. And I got my couch back.
those of you that have been around my channel for a while have seen my van pretty much evolve from a bare cargo van with a bed in it to what you see today. I'm extremely happy with everything I've done in the van. And to this day, I still stand true to the first words I said on my channel, and that's, you should live in it before you build it. And I'm thankful that I did. When you're starting out with a bare bones van and you've never done this lifestyle at all before, you really honestly don't know what you need in your van until you actually get into it. Your van is not your condo. What you're used to in your apartment or house life is totally different in a van and you're gonna need different things. Your requirements are gonna be totally different. And I think if you go in and start building your van out all eager with putting all the comforts of what your old life had in it, you're gonna make some major mistakes in your build. That's why I think getting in your van, live in it for a month or two months before you do anything major. I mean, if you have to build it, go stay in it for a couple of weeks to at least kind of know. But I think the longer you stay in the van doing it basic like I did, you'll learn real quick what you definitely do not need, like sinks and other things that I would have put in here that would have been just a massive waste of space. You know, people overthink getting into this lifestyle way too much. I think if you get in it, your whole perspective on everything here is going to change and what you need is going to change too. So live in it before you build it. That's just my suggestion. That's what I did. And I lived extremely comfortable in this thing with the bare bones and basics. Don't get me wrong. Living in it now is like pimping. <laughs> it feels so good in here now. and just super proud of home and just doors are wide open I'm super proud to show it off but seriously guys you might want to contemplate just getting the van throwing a freaking mattress on the floor and a cooler and taking off and learning what you actually do need anyway guys that's it for today just wanted to show you my garage and uh, yeah probably hit you with some b-roll and stuff but we're done I'm gonna go enjoy this van life day all right guys I'll see you soon adios